comes to action-packed anime movies, Studio Madhouse knows what's up, as we've seen in some of my more recent anime movie reviews. And ever since I did the Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust review, I only felt that it was natural. By the way, check that movie out if you haven't yet. Lots of fun. Thank me later, it's a fun one, but ever since that one I only felt that it was natural that I review Highlander The Search for Vengeance. Is this movie a faithful adaptation of the original Highlander movie? No, not at all. Not, It's not even close. It's like a bare bones adaptation of it, but it's still something that I find to be really fun. It's a nice popcorn flick. I find that this movie also gets a lot of criticism online, and I guess I can understand that because it's not technically a good Highlander adaptation. You got the bare bones there. You've got Colin McCloud who discovers that he is an immortal. He's hunting down through the ages Marcus Octavius which uh, killed his wife a long time ago and he just goes through different periods of war attacking them and it's like a fight which never ends and that's basically the premise of the movie right there. But for me what I enjoy about this movie the most is first of all the animation to it. Oh man the art and animation is so beautiful and it's really a shame that this movie is only in DVD quality. I'm guessing that a lot of the criticism that the movie had because it seems to be not very well received is something that they thought it's not going to make a whole lot of money if they remaster it because I couldn't find any Blu-ray versions or anything. I just have this DVD that I've had forever but it's definitely something that does need a remaster. Now one of my favorite fights in the movie was set during World War II. It wasn't a long fight but it was still something really cool that happened. Now uh, Colin McCloud was in a plane. He was chasing down one of the Nazi planes that had Marcus on the inside of it. His plane gets shot down and as his plane explodes he jumps out of it with his katana and lands on the wing of the Nazi plane as Marcus gets out with his gun and they kind of go at it there for a bit. It's a pretty short fight but I thought that was a really like awesome badass thing that the guy does uh, whenever he finally goes through all of the different ages and gets caught up to modern times it turns out that it's a dystopian future where uh, you've got New York and Marcus has taken it all over he's got this monolithic tower of gold right in the middle of it with a pyramid on top of that and he's been uh, creating this virus which has been killing people but he also creates the antidote so that he can control humanity and recreate Rome basically because he's got a huge thing for Rome when you see the movies. He loves, he loves his Rome and he goes in there, he meets the reincarnation of his girlfriend which is basically like she's a prostitute but she's also a resistance fighter and she lives in this uh, little resistance thing underground. They live in the sewer basically. So yeah, the, the future is really bleak in this movie, but I thought it was a really fun movie overall. There's not really a whole lot that I can say about it because the story is paper thin. But as far as the, uh, the presentation goes, I've already touched on the animation and art style. Uh, the audio here, now, I don't think this had Japanese audio. I, I only watched the English audio of this, and the English audio was actually pretty bad. Uh, sometimes he would have this, I think, Scottish accent, and then other times it was kind of like he forgot that he was supposed to have an accent. It sounded pretty phoned in it sometimes, too, for the voice acting, so... Um, the English dub is not very good for this, but sometimes it was okay, and that's kind of just how I watched it, because I see it as just a popcorn flick to eat popcorn, and I don't really care about the dub, I just want to see some action, and that's basically what the movie is. If you want to see some action in different periods of time, and also including the future with mechs and giant uh, tanks and like spider mechs and things like that, then I would recommend checking out Highlander, The Search for Vengeance. If you're a fan of the original Highlander movie, then I would not, re I, I'd recommend to stay away from this one because you're probably going to rage. Like, what do they do to my Highlander? Why don't we have an actual like Highlander adaptation? That's one of the things that I think would be great. Like, if we had anime faithful anime adaptations of some of the hit western movies. I think that would be a lot of fun. Highlander would be one good movie to adapt, but I don't think that Highlander Search for Vengeance is a very good adaptation of it. Thanks for watching. If you've seen Highlander The Search for Vengeance, let me know about that in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the review, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all of my new anime reviews and the anime news, anime discussions, everything that I do here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.